Hello, my name is Benjamin Needham with Needham Ag Technologies and today this is a video showing how to remove and install the main opener arm pins or MOA pins and bushings on John Deere 50, 60, and 90 series drills and air seeders. So first off, the way that we have found that makes it easiest is to take the openers off of the drill take the openers off of the rock shaft using the 5 8 bolts. So as you see here in this video, using a 15 16 wrench and socket, we are taking the 5 8 bolts out that hold the openers to the rock shafts. We are letting the openers drop carefully onto the ground and pulling them out of the way of the tires using a chain. Then we're going to back the drill or air seeder up, making sure the openers aren't underneath the tires and moving them out of the way. Next, we're going to take the 5 8 bolt that holds the pin in place out. Once that bolt is out, we are going to drive the main opener arm pin out, preferably using an air hammer. Once the pin is out, we're going to use our Needham MOA uninstall slash install tool to remove the old bushings. There are many different kinds of air hammers that you can use, but the one that we have found that works the best is a snap on PH3050B as seen in the picture. It does a good job, but it needs a lot of air volume and air pressure. Here we are uninstalling the bushing on the other side using the air hammer. Next, we are going to grind inside of the anchor. The reason we're doing that is because rust and corrosion can build up in there and harm with the installation of the pen. Especially on the 50 series, this is extremely important because sometimes the anchor is squeezed together more on older drills like 50 series. Here we are installing our Needamag bushings, which are a hardened steel bushing that is precision ground. Make sure that the bushings are installed where they're flush with the housing. Here we are installing the bushing on the other side. Again, make sure that it's flush with the housing. Here we are putting the bolts in. It is extremely important to put the bolts in now because it's really hard to put the bolt in from the other direction and squeeze the nut in that tiny space so the bolts need to go in as shown here. Next we're going to put the washers in. We provide a thicker washer with our kits and the thicker washer should fit in there on most drills and on some drills you can even use ours plus the old existing washer using them both to take up the maximum amount of play. Next what we're going to do is we're going to put our pin back in using our air hammer. We're going to put the 5 8 bolt and nut back in if it's a grade 8 bolt, we're going to torque it to 150 foot-pounds. If it's a grade 5 bolt, we're going to torque it to 130 foot-pounds. I hope you found this video useful. For more information about these products and others that we sell here at Needham Ag, please visit our website, NeedhamAg.com. We'd also appreciate it if you liked and subscribed to our YouTube channels. Thanks for watching.